Ibo Area TV on on the Ibo. Anambra election. This one is really the battle of the billionaires. Ten billionaires are in Anambra seats. 2021 gubernatorial election. No fewer than uh, 10 indigenous billionaires have uh, brushed their interest in the 2021 Anambra governorship election. Uh, some of the contestants were at point governorship as parents in the last election and thought of giving it another shot in 2021 elections. Now here are the candidates, uh, people who are vying for that seat, uh, the hopefuls. Number one, Andy Oba. Andy Oba is a household name in Nigeria political sphere. Emmanuel Namdi Oba, popularly known as Andy Oba, served as one of the influential factors towards the election of the chief Olusha Gunoba Sanjo in uh, 1999. As an act of compensation for his effort towards the success, he was met the special assistant on special duties and domestic affairs to the president of Asanjo. In 2007 gubernatorial election of Anambra State, Andy Oba won a victory that was uh, soon challenged and uh, it didn't take time, it was annulled and uh, P2B climbed as the winner. He is currently serving as a senator representing the Anambra South constituency in the Red Chambers. Number two, Tony Nwoye. Tony Nwoye contested the seat of governor in 2013 and 2017 elections in Anambra State under the People's Democratic Party, PDP, but failed. I think in 2017 he now contested under APC and is currently a member of the lower chamber representing Anambra East Stroke West. Number three, Ifan Yoba, uh, you know, the CEO of Capital Oil, the huge uh, plumpy senator. Uh, he's uh, representing Anambra South in the Nigerian Senate. Ifan Yoba is also the founder of Authority Nisipa and owner of Ifan Yoba FC. He's also the owner of the radio station Authority FM in Newi. Number four, Godwin Ezemo. Godwin Chukunayenye Zemo is an indigenous businessman and a member of the Progressive People Alliance, PPA. He owns so many investments, some of which include Orient Newspaper, Honeywell Hotel, Orient Media Group and Orient Mega Radio Station. He was a gubernatorial aspirant on the PPA in 2017 and will be contesting in the next year's election. Uh, before we continue, there's something we need to note. It's like uh, most people are going into the media and uh, most of these people who are in politics is is it to help spread uh, do their campaign or what if i knew just uh, recently launched a radio station we remember uh, a former anambra senator senate um, called edo busio so he had uh, is a person behind minaj so are they using it to promote uh, uh, a, a kind of support their campaign what do you think? Meanwhile, we continue. Number five, Chief Osita Chidoka. Chief Osita Chidoka is a former Minister of Aviation under the regime of Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. He was a governorship candidate put forward by UPP in 2017 but was defeated by Willie Obiano, who is the current governor of Anambra State. Chidoka is one of the founding fathers of the People's Democratic Party. Uh, you know, this guy is uh, from the road safety. I think uh, the road safety, he gained prominence. Now he's into politics. And he seemed to uh, um, be making waves. You know, especially when uh, the last time he was seen with uh, Namdi Khan, before the leader of the IPB left the shores of Nigeria, he was seen with him the day he was released. Uh, he has caught at him. Okay. Number six, Professor Chukuma Soludo, the renowned economist, was a governor of Central Bank of Nigeria and chairman of the board of directors for the same financial institution under the administration of the late Umar Musa Yaradua. Professor Chia Soludo also served as chief economic advisor to the president Olusegun Obasanjo 
In 2009, the PDP reached a consensus to field economy guru from a pool of 47 candidates. However, his candidature was contested by 23 of the 47 candidates, which led to his eruption from the governorship race. So uh, there were so many, um, you know, big wits that are in total race at that point. So for him to, you know, come out to become the flag bearer, uh, it, was, it wasn't easy for him. Uh, remember Saludo was, um, like we said earlier, he's a, f um, a former CBN governor. He was behind the margin of banks and, and banks having a solid capital base so that people won't lose their uh, money. Just like uh, before, you know what happens in Nigeria? And uh, the story, they tell people about their money in the bank, you know? This happened several times. Then number seven, Senator... Uche Epunive, I think she's the only lady among the contestants. She has become um, a household name recently. Senator Uche is the senator representing Anambra Central District in the 9th Senate. She won the same seat in 2015, but her victory was challenged in court, which led to her seat being vacant by the end of January 2015. She's also jostling for the seat of governor in the coming 2021 Anambra gubernatorial election. Number eight, George Mogalo. Uh, there are so many Mogalo in politics now. Uh, this is not the same Mogalo that contested for presidency. I don't think it's the same person. This one is called uh, George Mogalo. George Mogalo is a former national auditor for the All Progressive Congress. Recently, he was appointed by the president, Mohamed Buhari, as a managing director of the National Inland Waterways Authority. Until this day, he is one of the billionaires jostling for the governorship seat of Anambra State in the coming election. Wow, what we are seeing. Oh, it's going to be a tough race. The big wigs that are coming out to contests. Number nine, Chief Stanley Uzochuku. Chief Stanley Uzochuku seems to be the anointed candidate of the sitting governor. Will you be able to succeed him? In the 2021 Anambra governorship election, Chief Stanley has been found around for a while and is one of the billionaires in the numero uno seat of Anambra State. Okay, if he, she, he is the darling of uh, the current governor, that means he is an Abga candidate, the candidate Abga will field. Wow. We'd like to know what you think about that. Then number 10, Chief Nicholas Okachuku. Chief Nicholas Okachuku is a successful businessman and politician in the Nigerian political circle. He ran and won the seat of member House of Reps, Amak, Bari Federal Constituency, that is Abuja. While in office, he served as a chairman House of Representative Committee on Federal Capital Territory and chairman House of Representative Committee on Oil and Gas. Wow, this is the only candidate that has, you know, tried it outside Anambra among all these ones, as in uh, the political sphere. He has represented Amak and Gwari, the federal constituency, that is at, at the House of Reps level, that is Abuja. Now he's looking towards his iron Anambra gubernatorial seats. We'd like to know what you think. Uh, this, like we said earlier, is the battle of billionaires. There are several other contestants, but we just uh, what we gave you is a short list. Um, ten major contestants among several of them. So please, if you are to predict and win, who do you think will be Anambra governor after the election 2021? Among all these uh, top contestants, who do you think? Please, would like to know from you. Who do you think will work for Anambra? Not just about who will win. Now, uh, the first question is, who do you think will win? Then, the second question is, who do you think will really work for Anambra? Because uh, times are coming when people should focus on who will work and not who knows people or who will win. We will focus on who will work. If you go to uh, foreign countries, uh, the, the West, people contest uh, for political positions they go in there to serve their people but back here a lot of people are there 
to squander money, to loot public funds. So, who do you think is qualified? The best, somebody that you know you've seen what he's done or what she's done in the past, and by his works you approve him. Who do you think is ripe for that seat? Please, would like to know. Thank you. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.